Uh, again, my name is Kevin Decker. I'm with Washington Sea Grant. Um, I'm trying to assess the economic losses that are occurring or could occur uh, if certain events happen. Uh, inundation of the cranberry box, the highway, different things like that. What would the economic cost of those types of things be? Lost revenue, lost homes, lost property. Um, I'm trying to identify what those potential losses are, try to identify what the priorities of the community are, and try to work with you uh, to actually place a value on what some of those potential things are. So the impact of this research, you know, mine's a little bit faster to go over because I haven't done the research yet. I don't have results to present to you. Uh, this is the scoping phase of my project, and uh, this will influence what the project is that I do based on the feedback that you provide tonight. So what I'm trying to identify is um, what are the priorities uh, for evaluating economic risks, um, potential impacts, evaluate policy options related to that, uh, identify potential difficulties of analysis and data sources, so the worksheet asks you to, to list the, the potential economic impact. What are some of the challenges with assessing that? So one of the things that was brought up today was the land value, right? And you know maybe the county assessor places that land value at $400. But you purchased it for much more than that, and if we're able to protect it, it's worth more than that, right? It's only worth $400 according to the assessor because it's at risk of, of being lost, right? So if we can protect that, what is the true economic value of that? And, but that is a difficulty that I run into when I'm trying to assess this. You know, so we can look at the assessed value, we can look at the market value, what it is with protection, without protection. Those are the nuances I'm attempting to capture. Uh, and, and your help with trying to identify those things to really help my report as I move forward and try to do that. Uh, Washington Sea Grant has partnered with NOAA. So NOAA has provided $20,000. Uh, Washington Sea Grant has given an additional $10,000 to fund the research that I'm doing for this project. Um, so we, we already have funding for that, uh, so we don't need to seek additional funding.